Hi everybody, welcome to my infrared sauna vlog. Um, so we just got through Thanksgiving and all of that and a lot of other stuff that I'm going to try to move on from at least during my vlogs because I don't want to inundate people with sadness. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I wanted to talk today about energetic relationships and cords. Right, because we've been through this whole Venus retrograde and a lot of relationship stuff over the last couple of months, and I want to just explain how energetic relationships work with regards to cords. So, if you have somebody that you're in a relationship with, usually there's at least one cord or more, depending on the relationship, and they all connect through the chakras. So you can have, and I see primarily heart chakra connections in relationships that are romantic, of course. And then you can also have a third eye connection, throat chakra connection, um, solar plexus connection, sacral chakra connection, and then root chakra connection. And then you can have, I've, I've only once ever seen a couple with all of them. And it was like, unbelievably profound relationship I mean like talk about soulmates but usually it's one and sometimes two and then occasionally three and as you get into the more it's not as common so a heart chakra connection is really high level and it's from the heart and it's very it can be very unconditional but it also can be draining because one person will be sad or or down vibration it can bring the other person down and so that's the number one connection that I see in people with a cord between their heart chakras and then a third eye connection is really profound because it's like you can you can you know what each other are thinking and if you've ever had that with somebody it's phenomenal because it's like you're in sync right and the third most common, these top three are the most common, is the sacral chakra connection, which is that sexual, passionate, otherworldly connection that's based in the physical, that's not just sexual, but it's also um, energetic. When you put your energy fields together, you can feel this overwhelming like experience of bliss. And... Um, that's a very, very, very powerful connection. And so there are times when you have, for example, a sacral chakra connection that's all sexual and overwhelmingly powerful in that realm that's not always good for you. <laughs> and so in order to get away or unattached from a cord, you know, a relationship where there's powerful cords between the two of you, you have to disengage with regards to proximity, number one, because when you're in proximity to one another, the cords will regrow energetically, which is interesting. And so you can also do a cord cutting ritual, which is where you go into meditation and you face the person and you acknowledge the cords and then you cut them and you can ask your angels to help cut them or, you know, just let it unfold how you envision it to be able to disengage and, and release those cords. So, and sometimes that has to be repeated in order to stay disconnected from somebody that you have a powerful cord connection with. Cords can be amazing because you're connected energetically and spiritually through your energy fields. They can also be very negative and debilitating when your cords are not for your highest good. And that's a lot to do with karma and other stuff. But using a cord cutting ritual and staying, in pro staying away from the person in proximity will help break any types of bad connections with relationships that you have and it goes the other direction the more you nurture those relationships the more you can build those cords and something really strong and powerful that will take you through the rest of your life if you allow it to its highest you know vibration so i'm going to meditate now and um 
will be sending prayers to everyone in need in my community and around the world and um, to myself for envisioning my most beautiful and brightest future and manifesting that so that I can continue to give back and continue to do what I love. Okie dokie. So everybody have an amazing, amazing, amazing day, night, whenever you're watching this and peace. <laughs>